with Hall of Famer Chuck Klein. Congratulations, Robbie Cano. Home run number 300. Ian Kinsler at the plate, 0 for 4 on the afternoon. Swings at the first pitch and the line drive to left field. Caught by Lonnie Chisenhall. It's over. 21 in a row. The Cleveland Indians have set a new record for the longest win streak in American League history. Coming your way from the home of the Mets, City Field. Opening day is here as we get the new season underway with a good matchup between the St. Louis Cardinals and the New York Mets. Hello again, everybody. Baseball is back. Welcome to our special opening day broadcast on MLB Network. Joined by Dan Plezak and Dan as we get things going this season it's pitching that has to be key if this team's going to have success. You know I always think pitching and defense are the keys to success in the long run so as the season gets started it's going to be really important for this pitching staff to set a good tone. If they can get off on a good foot it will do a lot for the confidence of the entire ball club. The games count starting now opening day on MLB Network and it's coming up next. Now, as we draw ever closer to first pitch, let's listen in to public address announcer Mike Carlucci. And now, your 2018 New York Mets. Quickly now we'll look at the two men who are entrusted with the starting pitching assignment here to begin the new year. Now a chance to look at the starting nine for the visiting St. Louis Cardinals. Mark what do you have on this lineup as they go for their first win. Matty this lineup is built on one thing their best tool is the fact that. They have amazing speed up and down the lineup. I don't I don't even think the third base coach gives a steal sign. I think a lot of these guys have the green light. So be on the lookout for that today. Noah Sindergaard gets the call to pitch here on opening day in front of the hometown crowd. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, when you think of the power arms in baseball, this is the first guy you think of. Noah Syndergaard, big, strong guy, throws 89 to 93 mile an hour sliders. That's right, sliders. His fastball, anywhere from 97 to 101 miles an hour. Power fastball, power slider, and a terrific changeup. One of the best pitchers in the game of baseball. Okay, here's how the Mets are lining up defensively. And this team, they're not going to be moving around as much as some of the new age teams. The shifting and moving the third baseman over second base and the right fielder to play third base. This is going to be your stationary team trusting pitchers to execute Dexter pitches. Fowler. Into the box, Dexter Fowler. He will lead this one off today. And the first pitch of the ball game is taken for a called strike one and a new season of baseball is underway. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Ball one. 65 degrees our temperature here at first pitch. Fowler behind the ball and two strikes. Well, that's a tough pitch to take right there, right down the middle. But I think that happens when you're facing a good pitcher like this guy. The last thing you're expecting is one right down the pipe. And unfortunately, he let that one go. And he'd like to have that pitch back to take a good swing at that one. Now a swing and a chance for the gold glover Gonzalez over at first. 
And he'll take this to the bag himself, and there's your first down of the ball game. Center fielder number 28, Tommy Pham. Digging in, Tommy Pham, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. Just a bit high that time as he misses for a ball. That one missed, but if it's a strike, I don't know how you get the barrel of that pitch. You have to really be sitting on it to hit a fastball coming in that hard on the inside part of the plate. One out, nobody on. Fam with an even one and one count now. Time to take a look at the umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Mike Fillmore. Hey, you know, D Roll, Mike Fillmore, he'll give a little bit off the edges, but he gets the respect not only from the pitchers, but from the players because his zone is consistent. Yeah, as long as he's consistent, Dan, I'm okay with Mike Fillmore's zone. If a pitcher's pounding that zone, he wants to give a little bit off the outer edge. I'm okay with that. Here's the one and two delivery. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Well, there's the great equalizer, the changeup, El Cambio. Listen, if you can keep that pitch in your back pocket and pull it out when you need it, like he did right there, usually hitters, they don't stand a chance. The next to bat for St. Louis, Matt Carpenter. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Fastball down near the shoe tops. The 1 0. And this is down at knee level as it's chopped foul at home plate. Bases are empty here with two men out. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Bruce has a read on it. He makes the play and that'll end the inning. Down in order go the Cardinals. Nothing for the Cardinals to start. Mets coming to bat. We're just getting started ourselves on MLB Network. With a moment here in Flushing Meadows, let's meet the Mets. Mark DeRosa, tell us about this lineup in a daytime home contest. Yeah, Maddie, this team poses a lot of problems offensively. This is a scary lineup because they can beat you in a variety of ways. Not only do they have power in the middle of the order, but a ton of speed that can put some serious pressure on the defense. Carlos Martinez is on the mound for the season opener on the road in this one. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, Carlos Martinez, one of the biggest arms in the game of baseball. Electric fastball, 95 to 99 miles an hour with movement up, down, in, and out of the zone. Powerhouse slider. And I mean, as good as any slider in baseball, his changeup has gotten better. If Carlos Martinez brings his A game, he has the chance to throw a no hitter every time he takes the mound. And here's the former first round draft choice, Brandon Nimmo. He'll lead things off Leading here in the bottom the half of the first. Center fielder, Brandon Nimmo. First pitch coming, here it is. Zero. Swung on and missed, outclassed by that fastball for a strike. Wind-up and the 0-1. Change-up in for a strike. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. It's so hard to hit when you're behind the count 0 and 2, right? You have to protect the fastball. You have to look for the soft stuff down and away. You're really at a disadvantage when you fall behind 0 and 2. Here's Juana Cespedes. As 
he'll take a look at ball one. Bases are empty, one man out. And this one's too far inside, ball two. The 2 0. Finds the zone, strike one. Now the 2 1 pitch. Doesn't hit the target, it's ball three. They know the threat this guy possesses at the plate. I know it's 3 1 in this situation right here, but I can't imagine anything comes over the heart of the plate. One out, nobody on. Hit hard to third. That's a hit. Their first of the new season. That's what you want the guys at the top of the order to do. Set the table for the Monsters 3, 4, 5. Nice piece of work. Here's Jay Bruce now. High in the air out to center field. Fam on the move. Two down. Batting fourth, third baseman, Todd Frazier. So here's the cleanup hitter, Todd Frazier. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And a neck high fastball that time. Cespedes is off of first with two away. Yeah. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Throw over to the bag. And he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Fam is under it and he makes the catch for out number three. Met strand one. Still no score. Here's Marcelo Zuna. He'll Leading get us started Jay in Bruce. the top of the second. The left fielder, number 23, Marcel Ozuna. He's ready. Here's the first offering. A swing and a ground ball to third. That's a hit. The first of the new year for the Redbirds. Got him set. The catcher, number four. Yadier Molina. Here's the catcher, Yadier Molina. First delivery to him on the way. And this is bounced foul near the secret weapon, Jose Akendo, in the third base coaching box. Oh and one the counts of Molina. There's a strike. There's a called strike on a fastball up in the zone. We're seeing more of that from pitchers nowadays with the launch angles. Guys are looking for the ball down in the zone. If a pitcher can pitch up in the zone like that pitch right there, you can go ahead and make some hay. The 0 2 to Molina. Missed with a slider. I know you have to protect the strike zone when you get the count to two strikes, but on an 0 2 pitch that misses by that much, it's pretty easy for a hitter not to swing at that one. Oh 
And he fouls this one off. Ready on one and two. And the changeup is way low that time. This kind of hitter right here, we call this guy a grinder. What are our grinders? They just kind of foul off some good pitches. They they lay off the pitches just off the plate. This is every pitcher's nightmare. A guy that's up there with a plan and not just up there swinging at anything that you throw three. towards home plate. Fastball called strike three, and there's the first down of the inning. Some guys with big arms like this, they're just chuckers. They just throw the ball as hard as they can, and where it ends up isn't that big of a concern, but that wasn't the case there. That was a very well-pitched fastball right on the corner at the knees. Good luck hitting that one. So that brings in the power-hitting middle infielder, Paul DeYoung. Popped him up. And there to bring it in is Cabrera for route number two. Batting seventh, third baseman number three. Jed the next to bat Jerko. for St. Louis, Jed Jerko. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. First pitch coming, here it is. Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. As this game progresses, I don't think he's going to want to miss in that spot down the middle of the plate much more. It's early. They're a little less aggressive right now, so he's able to get away with it. No score here as we play inning number two. And it's one and one. The 1-1. One, one. Pitch is popped up. Gonzalez has room in foul territory. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. Batter's going to have to find a way to regroup right there. That caught too much of the plate. He knew it. He missed it. He might not get another opportunity to put the ball in play. The one two and this one's in the dirt and it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw and he'll make it into scoring position here with two away as that'll be scored a wild pitch. Well the graphic here isn't going to properly show just how far that pitch was from the strike zone. That thing wasn't even close and I think it made the decision to move up a base pretty easy to make two out here and a runner at second. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. Cards leave one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Next up from New York, Adrian Gonzalez. Up, as they'll have back. five, six, and seven Earth, here to eight, start the home half Adrian of the second. Gonzalez. First pitch on its way. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Gonzalez, a veteran at 35 years of age. This is his first year at the big league level. Yeah, and that's the name of the game with this guy. You don't hang around 13 years. I always say this. You show me a good teammate, I'll show you a guy who opens the door every day, and you know exactly what you're getting. The consistency this guy has had can't go unnoticed, and he's had an amazing career. Now the one and one pitch. Zero. Strike two swinging. One ball, two strikes. The one two. Hits softly on the ground to first. Carpenter is up with it, and he'll step on first himself for the out. Batting fifth, second baseman. As Dribble Cabrera. 
So the base is empty here with one away and that'll bring in the second baseman as Drupal Cabrera. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Started that swing a bit too early. A knee high fastball. Bottom of the second here with no score. The next 0 2. And a good two strike swing here as he's been fighting off some tough pitches but the count will remain at 0 and 2. Can't get him to chase it's 1 and 2. Now Cabrera swings and misses on a good pitch that time as he's rung up for route number 2. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Jeez, I mean, that fastball was way behind him when the swing came through the zone. I have to think he was looking for something off speed, and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He'll try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Pitch a circle change just a bit inside and it's 2 and 0 oh now. Two out, nobody on. Zero. 2 and 1. Boy, what a time to pull the string on him. On 2 0, -oh, there's no way anyone's thinking change up. So if you can locate it, that's pretty much unhittable. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Pham has a play. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Mets go down one, two, three. We'll move to the third with no score. Some fans still trickling into the ballpark as we get you set for the top of inning number three. Stepping in for the Cardinals, Colton Wong. Leading off as for the we are all set to begin the Second third inning in this one. Colton Wong. First pitch on its way. And that misses for ball one. One one home is looked at for ball number two. Hit out towards second, scooped up on the backhand. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Batting ninth, the pitcher number eighteen, Carlos Martinez. Now at the plate, Carlos Martinez. First pitch of the at bat on its way. There's a fastball that just misses ball one. Balls and no strikes. You can't allow yourself to lose focus right here with the pitcher up. Got to stay on the attack. Minimize pitches against these guys and put them away early. Now the 2 0. 
Swing and a blooper to the right side. Bruce is going to get there. He's got it, and there are two down now. Now batting, right fielder, Dexter Fowler. Here's Dexter Fowler now. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. First delivery to him on the way. And that sinker misses at the shoe tops. Ball one. Kind of a surprise not to see a fastball in the first pitch there. The guy's probably taking at least one pitch to give his pitcher a chance to sit down after he already made the second out. And a strike to even the count. One and one. One and one. Here it comes. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. A leap, but this is out of reach and off the wall. Fowler around second. He's headed for third. And Fowler will get there. He's got a triple. You've got to like the effort there from the right fielder. He gives chase and leaps, but just can't bring it down. Excellent backup from the center fielder, though, coming to help out. If he doesn't, that might have been an inside the parker. Into the box now, Tommy Pham. As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Here's the 1 0. Hit on the ground toward the left. And they'll escape danger here after the two out triple as the inning is over. No damage done after the two out triple. Play two and a half, no score on MLB Network. Next for the Mets, Ahmed Rosario. As we move on to the bottom of inning number three. Ahmed Rosario. Here comes the first pitch. Hey. Leaves a changeup high for a strike. There's a called strike on a changeup, not a particularly good one. That changeup up in the zone like this oftentimes gets hit very hard. Was able to get away with it that time, but if he's going to be successful, he's going to need to get that changeup down in the zone around the knees. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Swing and a liner. And that'll get down for what should be extra bases. And this will be off the wall out near the 330 marker. And he will get in there with his first big league hit, a double. And there's probably no happier person in the ballpark. Ahmed Rosario has just collected his first hit in the big leagues. And as is customary, there's the ball being sent into the dugout. Someone will tuck it away for him to put in his trophy case. Yeah, good for him, and congratulations. Listen, he's worked his entire lifetime for this moment, and he's obviously trying to play cool right now, but you can bet inside his head, he's on top of the world. The pitcher, Noah Syndergaard, steps up to the plate in a sacrifice situation, so let's see if that is indeed on right here. First offering on its way. Showing bunt here, but he takes ball one. The 1 0 home. Now a bunt attempt here. Got it back in time there, and it's two and one. Rosario leads off second with nobody out. And 
and they'll try to get the man to third as he puts this one down. And you can't ask for much more out of a pitcher than that. The sacrifice works to perfection. Well, when you're trying to move a guy up to third with a bunt, that's exactly how you want to do it. Make the third baseman field the ball. That way, his only play is to first. That was very well executed. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Brandon Nimmo. He went down swinging to start the home first. First delivery to him on the way. Takes a high fastball for a strike. You know, Matty, when I first broke into the league, you wouldn't see that high heater first pitch right out of the gate. But I think there's been a change in, in philosophy here. Back in the late 90s, early 2000s, guys wanted to attack you more east-west, get you leaning left-right. Now you're seeing guys attack in the philosophy more north-south. Just with launch angles and exit velocities, I think guys are afraid to throw that sink and fastball for fear that guys are just going to run their barrel into it. Not the case with the high fastball. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. Still no balls and two strikes. When you have two strikes on you, as a hitter, if you get something that you can handle, you have to find a way to do some damage with it. That was a missed opportunity. The 0-2 once more he is swung on and missed. He got him. Well, their chances of pushing across a run took a pretty good hit after that strikeout. It's so much tougher to score a guy from third with two outs instead of one. Basically, you need a hit, or you need to get lucky with a wild pitch or a pass ball. Ready for another chance? Yoenis Cespedes, runner in scoring position with two gone. From the stretch, here's the pitch. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. little flare out to left and there's a base hit as the runner will score from third and that gives the Mets a one nothing lead. Hey you never know when the turning point's going to come. It could be your number right there. Just an excellent job. Two out RBI. I know it's early but clutch hitting is not just for the late innings. Here's Jay Bruce now. There's a look at a fastball in there on the outer half. It's 0-1. Trying to keep things going now with a runner at first following the RBI single. The 0-1. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. And the reason he's working away so much here is because he's got that big hole on the right side of the infield to worry about with the first baseman holding the runner on. It's always smart to pitch into the defense you have behind you. And this one misses to Bruce as he moves out in front. It's two and one. Those were two great executed pitches right there away from this batter. He can hurt you in a heartbeat. I don't think anything's going to leak out over the heart of the plate. And a fastball, but he's losing it a bit here to three and one now. Todd Frazier would be next. And it's full now three and two full count with two outs now so if he could put the ball in the gap somewhere he could have a good shot of driving in a run because the runner at first will be in motion swing and a miss he struck him out with a two seamer and the inning is over sights and sounds of a day at the ballpark oh my goodness don't touch that remote more on MLB Network right after this. Back with Mark DeRozan, Dan Plesak, Matt Vaskersian as the TCU product, the left-handed hitting Matt Carpenter is the first to bat in the inning.
first pitch of the at bat. Right over the middle knee high. Hey it's not always about filling up the strike zone all the time every inning. He's pitching well as we're moving into the middle innings but interestingly less than 50 percent of his first pitches have been for strikes. Into the windup here comes the 0 and 1. That misses wide one ball and one strike. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Good plate discipline to lay off the slider that time, and he draws even a 2 and 2. The classic back foot slider right there with two strikes. Usually gets a ton of swing and misses. Nice layoff right there. Fight for another pitch. And he got him. I'll tell you, he looks really dialed in on the bump right there. He's got a shutout going, and he really seems to have this lineup off balance. Even when he challenges them up in the zone, they don't have an answer for it. Here's Marcelo Zuna, a base hit in his first trip. First offering on its way. And he lays off there 1 0. Well, he punched out the last guy, but he didn't get any favors from the blue on the first pitch in this at bat. Probably should be ahead of this hitter instead of behind. The 1 0 delivery. There's a knee high pitch that catches the zone. Now the one and one pitch. And he popped him up. Gonzalez ranging into shallow right. And no one can get there. It's a foul ball. Back up the middle. And that'll get on through into center. And he's got himself a one out hit. You don't see that too much in today's game. Most guys, it doesn't matter what the count is. They're looking to line up, drive the ball out of the ballpark. Not the case here. Good two-strike adjustment, able to punch a ground ball through a hole for a single. Here's the catcher, Yadier Molina. First pitch here is hit off to the right side and fouled. It's strike one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. that he didn't get on top of there it's one and one here's the one one now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate no runs three hits and no errors so far for the Redbirds. Toward second. To second for one. Over to Gonzalez, and they get the double play they needed to get him out of the inning. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Digging in to try it again. Todd Leading Frazier the flied out in his first Third, at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. First pitch coming, here it is. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball 1, 1 and 0. Frazier, or the Todd Father as he's affectionately called. This is his first year at the big league level. The 1-0 home. 
is swung on and missed strike one. In for strike two. The count is one and two. Swung on and missed in this fourth inning. We'll start the same way he ended the third with a strikeout. And there's one away. Boy, that's the best pitch in baseball right there with two strikes. That elevated fastball. Every hitter thinks that, hey, they can do something with that. But most of the time, you get the result that you saw right there. A big swing and a miss and another strikeout. Here's Adrian now. As he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. The wind up and the 1 0 pitch. And that's inside and a bit low, anyways. It's 2 0. Pretty easy takes to start out this at bat. None of those pitches were even close to the strike zone. Both clubs with three hits in the ballgame. Yeah. Strike called, 2 and 1. This guy has been throwing the ball so well, and that's exactly why. He has such a feel. For that secondary pitch, he can flip it over whenever he wants and get back in the count. And the pitch on two and one. Skied in the air to straightaway left. On the move is Ozuna. And that's the second out of the inning. Now batting, second baseman, has Drupal Cabrera. So two are gone in the Mets half of the fourth and that'll bring in the second baseman as Drupal Cabrera. First offering on its way. Way out in front. That one stayed up a little high. Bases are empty here with two men out. One ball and two strikes to count. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. Change of speed there but it's taken for a ball two and two. 2 2. He stays alive, still 2 and 2. The 2 2 one more time. Is laid off, and the count runs full. One run on three hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Two, one more time. Popped high in the air. Wong waits on it. And that retires the side. Down in order go the Mets. They lead it one to nothing. Digging in for his second at bat. Paul DeYoung. He'll start things Lock out against up. Noah Syndergaard as this inning is underway. Here's the first pitch to him. Right on the corner, a fastball that he takes for a strike. Line toward the alley in left center. Cespedes arranged to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. Good contact to start out the inning. 
thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. Here's Jed Jerko now. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Checks his swing, but this will be strike two call. This guy's pitching really well in this one so far. You could just see he's awful confident attacking the strike zone, and when he comes off the mound at the end of the inning, looks like he stepped in a big old bucket of sassy. Into the windup, here comes the 0 2 pitch. A swing and a miss. He offered it a ball way outside the strike zone for out number two. I think he had his mind made up. He was swinging the bat and trying to protect before the ball even left the pitcher's hand. That pitch wasn't even close. He would have needed a flagpole to hit that one. Here's the second baseman, Colton Wong. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Popped him up. Frazier in foul ground. And that'll put an end to the inning as he brings it down. Riding in once again, Travis Darno. He Leading flew out in his bat. last at bat. After it. Travis Darno. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Well, New York Mets fandom has really been taken to another level by that group decked out in orange in right center field. They got their name from the seven line subway train that serves City Field, and it's become quite a big deal here in Queens. Yeah, Matt, they really do an awesome job rallying the Mets and getting more fans bought into the whole movement. But one of the things I love most about the group is how well they travel. You see cheering sections in other cities, but these guys go all over the country, invade sections of visiting ballparks to root for the Mets. It's pretty impressive. Yeah, it's a well-organized group, believe it or not, that holds several events throughout the year. They even take their act on the road to visiting ballparks a couple of times each season. It's been really great for the Mets organization. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. Sharp slider that time. Just missed inside. Time for him to attack on the mound. He knows this team's struggling offensively. Don't mess around and try and nibble. Just be on the attack and let them beat you. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Ozuna has it in his sights. One away. Up next for the Mets. The shortstop, Ahmed Rosario. And that'll bring in the former top prospect, Ahmed Rosario. He scored a run after stroking a double in his first at bat. First pitch of the at bat. Nope. And he just misses with a curveball. Now the 1 0. A swing and a miss, strike one. When a guy's featuring big time velocity like this, you have to be on the fastball. It's your only chance. You'll tip your hat on some nasty off speed stuff, but you've got to be ready for the heater. Two balls and a strike to Ahmed Rosario. Seems to me like they're pitching him a little bit more cautiously after that double he had his first time up. Bases are empty, one man out. Even count, two balls and two strikes. And 
and that's low so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Pitch and there is strike three called and boy that zone just got a bit larger two away. Well that call looked like it was a little in the pitcher's favor but it wasn't outrageous. Hey listen calling balls and strikes is a really tough job and even the best are going to miss some from time to time especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that though. Into the box Noah Sindergaard as the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. He did his job and laid down the successful sack bunt in his first appearance. That's and he lays off the pitch up and in ball two. And this guy can hit a little bit too so you just can't lay one in there two and oh. Two out nobody on. Two balls and a strike now. Here's a big swing and a miss on the fastball. Two and two. Soft liner to the right side, but an easy play over at first to glove it, and the side is retired. Mets go down one, two, three, but they're on top one to nothing. So in now is the Cardinals pitcher, Carlos Martinez. They'll try and get things started as we begin inning number six. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Nope. And that one stayed too low, apparently. <laughs> Lifted in the air to straightaway left. Rosario into shallow left. Makes the play one away. Now batting right fielder Dexter Fowler. Here's Dexter Fowler now. He made it to third on a triple in his previous appearance. First pitch on its way. Swing and a little tapper, but that one rolls foul. Oh one. Nope. And a fastball just a bit high. One out, nobody on. Popped him up. Gonzalez moving to his left. And he makes the catch for the second out. Now batting, center fielder, Tommy Pham. Digging in once again, Tommy Pham. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Here comes the first pitch. And this ball is crushed deep down the right field line. And that is off the wall, but in foul territory. Foul ball. The wind up and the 0 1. And now a curveball that bounces up to the plate. It's 1 and 1. We've seen this before fastballs in, then breaking balls away. That's been his plan of attack throughout the first half of this game. It's 1 and 2.
looking to punch him out again. The pitch. A swinging bunt up the third baseline. And the inning is going to continue here as he reaches on an infield single. Yeah, nobody on right there, Dan. Two outs. It's not every day you see a guy pick him up and put him down like him getting down to first base right there. Bought himself a base hit. Well, I'd say what if you there's a couple of things you can do. It doesn't take a lot of talent to hustle. It doesn't take talent to be on time. And he hustled out of the box, turned what could have been a, a ground out to end the inning into an infield single. Here's Matt Carpenter as he takes a cold strike at the knees. It's 0 and 1. This is where you got to take stock in the situation. Adjust your batting gloves and realize you need a gapper to score this guy from first. If nothing less, pass the baton to the guy behind you and keep the line moving. And yeah, there's a base hit on the line. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. I guarantee you at release point he wanted to pull this pitch back. Change up middle of the plate usually gets deposited in the seats. In now Marcelo Zuna as he'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. Two hits in two trips for him thus far. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Outside for a ball, one and one. He's obviously been very impressive on the mound in this one. And I think the big reason why is his ability to stay out of the middle of the zone. That's kind of obvious, but it's clear to me that even when he misses his spots, he's not missing over the plate. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Great chance right here as a hitter to be aggressive. You can pretty much count on a pitcher. He's trying to get back in the strike zone. And with two guys on base right here, it's time to grip it and rip it. Got a piece. It's two and two. Here now the 2 2 very weakly on the ground but it gets foul. Hit in the air down the right field line but this will wind up being a foul ball. Another 2 2. Just a bit high that time as he misses for a ball. He really needs to find a pitch to put this guy away with right here, right now. He can't allow this inning to get any worse than it's already become. Another full count offering on its way. Count still full, 3 and 2. Making him work out there. The ninth pitch of the at bat coming up. Another full count pitch home. Count remains full. Payoff pitch one more time. Hit the other way out toward right field. Bruce has a read on it. He's got it to end the inning as they'll strand the tying run in scoring position. Cards strand a couple. They trail this one one to nothing. And here's the former first round draft choice, Brandon Nimmo. He went down on strikes last time up. Brandon. First pitch coming. Here it is. A high fastball is in there. 
This guy's cruising along pitching well as we enter the middle innings of this one. Less than 60 percent of his first pitches have been for strikes. If he could clean that up a little bit he could really roll into the later innings in this one. One and one to the Mets leadoff hitter. The one one. It is a fastball in off the plate for a ball. We've seen him go down on strikes more than once in this game so this has been a better approach by him at this at bat much more patient and he's got himself into a good hitters count into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. Hey I love the mindset of this pitcher right here. Try and dominate and execute a fastball in and then get the guy sitting inside trying to be quick to everything and then pull the string a little bit on a nasty changeup. A bouncer to the left side. Throws in time and that's out number one. The left fielder number 52. Yoannis Cespedes. Here's Yoannis Cespedes. Two hits in two trips for him thus far. You know Madden every team has that one guy and Yoannis Cespedes is that guy for the Mets. Completely changes that complexion of that Mets betting order. One and oh the count. Bases are empty, one man out. And this is pulled foul as he was way out in front there. So one one. Taken strike two. He might want that pitch back up and away. That's a pitch you can really drive if you have the right approach towards that opposite field gap. The one two. And that's off his leg on the mound. Thankfully he's able to recover and he gets the second out at first. And now they'll oh, hustle right out there and attend 19. to their pitcher and that was quite Shane. a shot he took as you see him down on a knee. But if there's one thing I know about this guy he will not want to come out of this game and from all indications it looks like he's going to try to continue. Digging in once again, Jay Bruce. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Here's the first pitch to him. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch in the air to right center and carrying well way back there now and gone home run. A solo shot there for Jay Bruce first home run of the campaign for him as the Mets are out in front now two to nothing. Yeah, and that's what you call a dream scenario or an absolute nightmare depending on your viewpoint a power pitcher on the bump and a power hitter at the plate a plus B equals see you later it's simple math folks third baseman here's Todd Frazier now Todd Frazier as he takes a cold strike on the black it's 0 and 1 no hits to this point. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Two out, nobody on. Slider, good two strike pitch, but it misses one and two. The 1 2. Misses for the second ball. Hey, I don't mind those pitches down below the zone trying to go for the strikeout right there. 
But you find yourself in a 2-2 count right here. Interested to see what he goes to. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now. Three and two. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Swing and a long drive again. This one to deep center. And it's out of here. Back to back, two out home runs. A solo home run for Todd Frazier. Career homer number 149. And the Mets have taken a 3 to nothing lead. You put guys in the middle of your lineup because you need consistent offensive production. Well, these two just went bang, bang, back to back homers, so I guess that qualifies. Standing in now, Adrian Gonzalez. Adrian As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. The 1 0. Fly ball out toward right field. Fowler has a read on it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Two runs come across here, both coming via the solo home run. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Mets three, and the Cardinals nothing. Welcome back to City Field in Flushing. Getting set for the seventh inning now with the Mets out on top. But first, let's check out the game summary through the first six innings of baseball. Ready for another chance. Yadier Molina. He's both for two thus far in this one. I mean, Yadi, when he first broke on the scene, was a defender first and foremost. You can't say that anymore. I mean, he's evolved into a really, really nice offensive player. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Laid off as it caught the inside corner. Not a bad idea right there. Make this guy work and see if he can throw the ball over the plate. Throws the first pitch for a strike. They need to get some runners on base and not a bad plan. Unfortunately, the pitcher came in with a strike on the first pitch. Behind 0 and 2 now. Trying to send him packing for the second time. And on 0 and 2, he misses with a fastball. Hey, I can understand why he wanted to elevate the fastball right there. This batter's eyes have been lit up since he stepped in the box. Let's see if he gets him fishing on something breaking in the dirt right here. Ready on one and two. Fouled off. but speared on a hop and the throw to first is in time so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Oh man you can't hit a ball any harder than that. I mean this ball gets on him in a heartbeat. Nice job to stay with it though and then make the out at first. So that brings in the power hitting middle infielder Paul DeYoung. 0 for 2 here to start the afternoon. First pitch on its way. And that one just missed outside. This is a big out to get right here. This is their best hitter. He's a great hitter, and he's a guy that kind of spark plug. He gets this team going. So if I'm on the mound right now, you really want to try to get this guy out to hopefully keep them from getting a potential big inning started. Count now a ball and a strike. This is low ball two two and one a 
One out, nobody on. But a big pass at a slider that gets past him. Well, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. If he's going to have the ability to flip that in there whenever he wants, this is going to be a tough test. Here now the 2-2. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. No pitcher likes to take the count to 3-2, and two, especially when you throw a non-competitive pitch like that on 2-2. Two and two. That one wasn't even close. Bases are empty. One man out. Fly ball out toward left center field. Rosario over to his right. He hauls it in without any trouble. And there are two away. That's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch up of the zone. They took him up the ladder and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop out. Well executed pitch there. Here's Jed Jerko now. And he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. That jumps off the page at me. He's found that power cord. Hit some huge homers for the cards. Bases are empty here with two men out. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. One, two, three, go the Cardinals. They trail it here, three to nothing. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Your Dominic Leon is in out of the bullpen now as he'll be inserted into the number six spot following the double switch. Number 55. Greg Garcia will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Ready for another shot now as Dribble Cabrera. He was retired after popping out in his last at bat. Second baseman as Dribble Cabrera. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. There's a strike. Oh, one. Here's the pitch. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. The 1-1. One, one. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Now batting. Not a lot you Catcher. can do with that pitch. That fastball Average. just ate him up inside Five, no. and gets the soft grounder for the out. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. Set and the pitch hit on the ground down the first baseline. The O2 delivery. Swung on in the dirt, strike three. And he makes the throw to first. Darno is retired, two down now. The batter number one. And that'll bring in the former top Ahmed. prospect, Ahmed Rosario. It was a backwards K, a strikeout looking for him in his last at bat. First pitch of the at bat. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. The 1 0. Is looked at for the first strike. Yeah. 
the one two misses ball two. The two two is looked at and the count moves full. Pretty easy pitch to lay off there two and two not even close to being in the strike zone. He made it easy for the hitter in that one. Two out, nobody on. Full count still. He was able to foul that one off, but you could tell he was definitely late. That breaking ball, the pitch before that heater right there, definitely threw his timing off. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Down in order go the Mets, but they lead it 3-0. Here's the second baseman Colton Wong. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. Ball one to start the at bat. Guide in the air to straightaway left. Cespedes is there, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. The A couple of good five. pitching performances by Plus both clubs here. Greg Three nothing Garcia. our score as you get a look there at the inning by inning recap through the first seven and change. Stepping in for the Cardinals, Greg Garcia, and he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. First delivery to him on the way. Now a ball lined to the left side, but this is a foul ball. Pulled toward right center field, Bruce giving chase. And that's the second out of the inning. Now batting right fielder Dexter Fowler. Here's Dexter Fowler now. Two away here in the eighth and time's running out on him Danny. Yeah they don't have a lot of outs left to work with so it's time for someone to make something happen if they're going to get back into this thing. ready here's the first offering here's a little chopper up the middle Rosario brings it in and he's safe at first as he beats this one out by about a half a step yeah maybe a shot here now with two as they finally get another base runner on he stranded six in a row prior to this point so he's had his way with these guys for the past couple of innings Digging in to try it again. Tommy Pham. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Here comes the first pitch. Knee high slider that he takes a look at. Coming up on the century mark in pitches now through the first seven and two thirds. And he's going to empty the bucket right here. He sees the finish line, Dan, and he's got a chance at this. Boy, there's no doubt about it right now and what makes it easier too from a manager's standpoint right now you could probably just go to one guy in the bullpen to finish this game a terrific job seven and two thirds up to this point one and one I'm seeing all the signs of fatigue right now this is when you really have to bear down mentally as a pitcher. the one one this is skied into short left center Cespedes is there makes the catch and the side is retired one left for the Cardinals they trail in this one three nothing Jose Reyes is going to grab a bat here as he looks to try to set the table in the bottom of the eighth as they look for some insurance And he'll 
chased the target away with the fastball. It's one and oh. The 1 0 home is in off the plate. Cardinals get the bullpen started here as a right hander is up and warming. And this is hit hard to the right side. Foul. That's lifted the other way out to left. And the move to the pinch hitter will not pan out as that's taken in for the first down. Center fielder number nine, Brandon Demo. And here's the former first round draft choice, Brandon Nimmo. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. First pitch of the at bat on its way. There's a knee high pitch that catches the zone. Down and away, ball one. One out, nobody on. And he misses two and one. The two one home to first taken in by Carpenter and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. The left fielder number 52 Yolenis. Espedes. Here's the left fielder, Yoannis Cespedes. From the stretch. No balls and a strike to count. He's certainly done an amazing job right here, grinding to get early two outs with the number two hitter and the middle of the order lurking. He would love to see three, four, five with no one on base next day. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. Cespedes behind a ball and two strikes. Hey, he's got excellent stuff working right now. Somebody has to make an adjustment. You're seeing a lot of late swings. No one's getting the front foot down. No one's getting a barrel to the baseball. The one two. Neither guy willing to give in and the ad battle continue. The one and two pitch and the sliders in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. So he threw the slider darting away to him two times in a row. Now I don't think he'll go for it again. I'm looking for something hard inside on this pitch. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one and the inning is over. Mets go down one two three. They lead it three to nothing. Jerry's Familia takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Jerry's Familia. Digging in and looking for more, Matt Carpenter. He's working on a one for three thus far. They look like they're up against it here, down three on the road, trying to come back against the closer. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Oh, he thanks his lucky stars right there getting away with that hanger. I cannot believe he didn't pull the trigger on that pitch. Swing and a miss, and he's in the hole 0 2 now.
ready with the 0-2. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. Final line there for the Mets starting pitcher. And that's exactly how he hoped to get this season started on opening day. Here's Marcelo Zuna. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Almost a worm burner as he misses on a low fastball. Ball one. Lifted into the air to shallow center. Coming in is Nimmo. He makes the play. Really had to hustle to get to that one. Two gone now. The batter number four. Catcher Yadier Molina. Here's the catcher Yadier Molina. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. First offering on its way. Missed with a slider. Now the 1 0. Line toward the gap in left center, and Molina's aboard a base hit. Now batting. The pitcher, Dominic Liam. Jose Martinez will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 38, Jose Martinez. Hey. Comes right after him with a fastball for a strike. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Hot shot to third. And that's through for a hit. Hey, this might be their best opportunity to at least get on the board. They've been struggling offensively, and they find themselves with two runners on board. Let's see if they can continue. Here's Jed Jerko now. As he'll take a look at the pitch. Too low. It's ball one. No doubt some saves come easier than others and I know this all too well. They're really making wrapping this thing up a difficult task. Jerko in front two balls and no strikes. Now with the 2 0 count and the power at the plate it could be fireworks time. This is the kind of count he makes his money in. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Cespit is on the move. Makes the catch, and that's the ball game. And a nice job here to come in and slam the door. That's his first save of the season, but it certainly won't be his last. 3 0, the final score in this one today. The New York Mets led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Noah Syndergaard gets the win on the mound, his first of the year. Jerry Spamilia wraps it up for the save, his first of the year. So that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. Thanks to Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and the rest of our crew. This is Matt Vaskersian, and you've been watching a presentation of MLB Network. See you next time.
The final line score for this afternoon's ball game for the victorious New York Mets. Three runs, five hits, no errors. They left two men on base. For St. Louis, no runs, eight hits, no errors. They left eight men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 35 minutes. 